Hey, what's up, everybody? Am I on time tonight? <laughs> it's amazing how I can go on time when I'm alone. Uh, not that, you know, people I go alive with uh, delay me or anything, but it's just we get chit-chatting and lose track of the time. So how's everyone doing tonight? I see Umpty Scratch and Kramit. And I'm going to go to my own chat here on on the phone because YouTube on StreamYard is slow. So bear with me. There we go. So, so far we just have two in the chat. So we'll give it some time. Kramit, you surviving the, uh, the heat yet? Are you... <laughs> I, I haven't even been outside, really. I mean, I, I go out to check the mail and stuff, but usually I'm inside all day working, and I just try not to leave the house right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I have some Zanini boxes, or Zanini box for May 2020, which is uh, Friday, is May 1st. So um, I've also got a Target delivery that came today, and I, I did advertise that I was going to be unboxing the Janky Series 2, but it hasn't been delivered yet. Uh, UPS usually comes pretty late in the day, and they're running kind of exceptionally late today, understandably. So um, that may or may not happen tonight. So we'll see. But uh, hey, Tony, welcome. Your AC died? Uh, no, this, this is not the time of year for that to happen. Um, yeah, so waiting for UPS, that might happen while I'm live, depending on, on how long I go, how long this is going to take, how many people are going to show up. <laughs> it's not a lot right now. So I know there's been a lot of live streams today, but um, <clears throat> I wanted to do this Zanini box. I wanted to do something a little different this time and do a live just because it showed up on my doorstep today. And in order to get the pins and stuff that are featured in the box, you have to subscribe the month before. So time's quickly running out. And I just wanted to kind of get this out there as quickly as possible. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show that. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the subscription levels. There's going to be a couple new subscription levels on Zanini Box. Hello, Alexandra. Go back to bed. Um, and a new product. So I'm going to show, I'm going to share that too. So, we'll see. So I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. Um, how else? How has everyone else been doing? Been staying inside? <laughs> I haven't done like a solo live stream in a while with it just me. So uh, I'm gonna try not to just sit here and stare into the camera. Hey, Labjar, welcome. Thanks for coming to another live stream. <laughs> I know there's been several today. And I think there's other ones that might still be going on right now. But um, with as many people as, as you know, the, in this community that do these channels and do live streams, it's kind of impossible not to step on someone else's. So it's just the way it is. Okay. So we're up to six in the chat for a two is it Tuesday? No, what day is it? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I've lost track of the days at this point. Uh, my work has been pretty busy, been a pretty busy uh, week with some uh, SEC filings coming up tomorrow, which makes my job a lot busier, but uh, should should quiet down for the rest of the week. Hey, Tickles, welcome. Uh, <laughs> my lives the best you only follow me i i don't know if that's true tony i think you follow other people too it is yeah hey dustin it is late for live i know it's it's after 11 on the east coast but i work until six o'clock um well let's see nine o'clock eastern every night so by the time i get off have some time to kind of decompress have some dinner you know feed my animals and all that stuff it's like it's after seven so I, and then I have to take time to set everything up, um, you know, the microphone, the camera, the lights, and all that stuff. It's so, it's just, I don't want to be rushed into it. So, 
<laughs> oh, I couldn't tell what that was. The shelter in it's it's not showing it on uh, it's not showing it on Streamyard. It's a cat in a box. Am I able to find food for the furry ones? Yeah, um, Chewy.com. So I'm able to get cat and dog food. Uh, it just takes a couple extra days in, than it used to, obviously. Hey, kind of mainstream. You almost uh, whizzed right by me there in the chat. This chat jumps around. Hey, Dave. <laughs> yes, cough into your elbow. Oh, that's not that's not a dab emoji. That's co that's cough into your elbow. That's so disappointing. Um, Streamyard is just it's not showing the emojis as emojis. It's showing them as the text. So. I have to look at my phone to see what's going on. These must be uh, YouTube generated emojis because I've never seen them. Yes, all the uh, all the pandemic emojis are in effect. So I will ask to the people that are here: Have any of you tried Zini Box yet? I mean, I, maybe some of you have seen the videos. I mean, do you collect the pin, do you collect enamel pins? Um, has this been something that you've been interested in at all? <laughs> yeah, there's no stitch emoji. Sorry. It is something else, Dave. Um, oh, you're talking about the emojis, maybe? You're in Massachusetts, Labjar. Good. Yeah, I know there's the night owls. <laughs> I know there's uh, the night owls out there. And I, I'm i kind of in a strange position that I'm, I'm a night owl, but I'm also like a morning person, so I just never sleep. I like I stay up way too late and get up too early. So, uh, is there something in my nose? I don't think so. I don't think anyone would want to see it if there is. <laughs> yeah, too many pins. Oh, it's Brandon. Brandon has graced us with his presence. <laughs> hey, Cobb. Yeah, there's a lot of different companies. There's a lot of different collectibles out there kind of uh, trying to get people that collect. And I... I probably never would have gone for enamel pins, but because uh, Pedro Zanini reached out to me and asked me to promote his pins, I I said, yeah, that'd be great. It's not something I'm really into, but I'm sure I have people that watch my videos that follow me on my channel that would be interested in this. But I'm just, I don't hear a lot of feedback from people after I post the videos. I mean, I see the comments, like what pins you like, but other than that, I don't hear, just in talking with people in the community, I don't hear a lot of... Uh, um, feedback on the pins. Hey, Justin. <laughs> Hashtag don't wet the bed. I'll try not to. That is uh, good advice. I can see your clown there, B Cobb. <clears throat> so I think I will kind of get into this Zanini. We've got a handful of people in here. We're about 13, it looks like. So, um, Pedro actually reached out to me, I believe it was yesterday, to kind of tell me that he, um, I don't know if it was yesterday, again, the days all blend together, but um, the, he was, the, the program was going to be changing a bit. He's going to add some new, um, some new product and some new, uh, new tiers that you can subscribe to. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm just reading up on the chat. Yeah, Jen stole all of well, not all of them, but the ones that I send to be called Jen Steals. <laughs> um, so I got this from Zanini Box today. Literally, it showed up today. So I'll kind of read over this note real quick to kind of explain some of the changes that are happening. And I, I think some other channels have already gotten these um, packages, the Zanini Box for May. Um, so... I'll just read this note and it says, hello subscribers, we would like to thank you for all your support and loyalty in this very difficult time that everyone has been going through these last few days at this time in the box. Try to go to great lengths to bring news that we would like to share. So the first thing that Pedro mentions in this letter is the website. Um, so if you have not been to ZaniniBox.com in a while, they have kind of revamped the website. If you go click on the tiers, um, they actually kind of show some sample pins in the different um, tiers that are available for the, uh, the three, four, and five pins. Uh, so, yeah, the website kind of got a little overhaul. looks a lot cleaner. It looks nice. Uh, hey, OJ, what's up? So 
that's cool. I think it looks good. I went and checked it out um, before I started here, and it looks pretty good. Um, so some of the themes of the pins are also changing. Uh, the standard theme is going to have a change. So after the Justice League collection, because in every every month so far this year, there's been a Justice League pin, there's been a Flash pin, there was a Wonder Woman pin. Uh, I think I want to say Martian Manhunter. I don't. I'm not a comics guy, so if that's wrong, feel free to make fun of me in the chat. Um, so after that, they're going to alternately send at pins from the previous collection so that they continue the collections in the box. So we'll call it keeping collect keeping collection. And then the new product that I'm going to talk about tonight, which I haven't looked at, um, it's in this envelope. Uh, and these are collectible cards. So Zanini is getting into the collectible cards end of things. And uh, there's going to be nine exclusive cards every month with the themes of movies, TV shows, comics, and games. And I have not seen these yet. So this is kind of, this is my first time looking at these. I think B Cobb said he uh, saw them on another video, but I, I, again, I haven't seen any of that. So, um, so the idea of the cards will be to bring only the covers of the themes followed by information. And each card is going to actually have a QR code on them for access to the related products and um, a space on the card. So if you happen to meet someone on the card or related to the card, uh, you can get their autograph. So there's a space on the card for that. Um, so I'm kind of anxious to see what that looks like. Um, new plans will be coming into effect. There's going to be two new plans for the cards uh, that include the cards. You can get the cards just on their own, uh, which will be nine exclusive cards every month for $5.99. And I think this is a single, uh, this may be a single month. I don't know how many cards are in here. This is pretty thick. And then if you want to add cards on to the, to the pin plan, you can get the plan premium ultimate, which is all the pins that they have, including the pins with the metal locking backs and the cards. And that's going to be $19.99 per month. Um, the new plans and the cards won't be available for subscription or for ordering until May 1st, until this Friday. So if you go over there tonight, they're not going to be on the website yet. So Pedro wanted me to make sure and relay that to you. Uh, these aren't available just yet. But uh, hey, Pop Couple. Hey, 83 Pop Talk. I was just kind of scrolling back in the chat here. I was just kind of going over the Zanini box, kind of the revamp and the new product that they have. Um... So I've got two purple envelopes, which I am assuming have pins in them, and then I've got the cards. So I think let's get into one of these envelopes, and I don't know which is which, so let's just see what's in here. <laughs> okay, so this is the May box. Let me check this other one. We might save the May box for last because there's two envelopes here. Gives a dollar. Dave, I'm sending you pins Sunday. Okay, so yeah, this is the... Okay, I know what this is. So we'll get to that one last. Um, so every month with your... Whoops. I'll just drop everything on the floor here. I don't have a lot of room to work with. Every month with the Zanini box, you get a pin that relates to movies and TV shows, cartoons, games, and then that's in the basic plan. So um, the next level up, the standard one, will be is now called the Keeping Collection. So that one's going to be a recurring theme. Currently, it's um, Justice League, I think you said. And then if you do the premium plan where you get all five pins... All this year, it's been Star Wars. So guaranteed uh, for May, uh, you're going to get a Justice League and a Star Wars pin if you're on those other two tiers. So let's just get into these real quick. I'll show you the first one and the order that they go on the card. And he's done some pins from this collection or this property before this envelope got blasted open. So I'm just going to tear it, tear it out of here. Um, but the first one we've got for movies and TV shows is uh, Back to the Future. Dr. Brown. So Doc Brown. 
Um, so yeah, that's our movies and TVs ones. Jen has dibs on a dog pan one. We'll wait until you see what's in this other other envelope. <laughs> uh, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen that he's included. There's a new line that's a uh, separate line that's available outside of the subscription box, and it's been dogs. So we'll get to those here in a second. Um, so sorry, just going to scroll back and chat here. Make sure I didn't miss anyone. So our first one's Doc Brown. So you'll get this as part of the basic plan. And the basic plan is three pins each month for $9.99. And they come on a card, on a card back like this with a rubber or a plastic kind of backing. So you, there is a plan you can upgrade to to get a metal locking back. And I'll go over all that at the end. Um, hi, Mama G. And I'm not sure I said hi to you. Welcome. Uh, the next one that's part of the basic plan. I've kind of I've not I've not done the Zanini pin live before. I always do a video on these, and I always fumble with these with the packaging. But uh, the next one is cartoons. So for you Warner Brothers collectors out there, we have a Tasmania pin. I don't know if that's going to focus. I got too much stuff going on here behind me. That may not focus, but you get the idea. Let me put something behind it here. I don't know if that's going to work. Kind of. There there, there we go. <laughs> so it's the Tasmanian Devil uh, from Tasmania. All right. So the last one for the... I've got too many pins just floating around here now. The last one is Games. And this is a game I've played um, on this system. I don't know if you've heard called PS4. <laughs> so from the game <clears throat> God of War, we have the Kratos. I've got too much stuff going on in the background behind me. There. Let's try this purple background again. There. <laughs> now, if I stand on one leg, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's our video game one. Uh, so those first three pins, Doc Brown, the Tasmanian Devil, and Kratos from God of War, uh, all three for $9.99. And another reason I want to do this live is, like I said, if you want to get these pins, you have to subscribe by the end of the previous month, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day you can subscribe to get these pins for the Maybox. Otherwise, you have to get them separately from the store, which they do sell all of these separately on the Zanini Box website. But they're $7.99 a piece. This way, you get them all three for $9.99. Kind of a no-brainer. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. So, we got the next part of this. The next step up is the standard collection, uh, which is $11.99 a month. Just had to confirm the price there. And this is Justice League. So it's going to be a character from Justice League. Hey, Kenneth. Hello. And this one is... Hard. Not going to focus. Green Lantern. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Let's try this. Try this again. And this is why I don't do this live. There we go. That's a little better. Green Lantern. <laughs> All right. So that uh, will get you eleven ninety nine. Will get you Green Lantern in addition to the first three pins I've shown, and then the final pin, which is the premium plan, is Star Wars themed. Um, You're doing okay there, mainstream. You're doing a lot of elbow coughing tonight, or you're dabbing, depending on how you want to look at that emoji. No, Dave, that is not Ryan Reynolds. Thank God. <clears throat> I heard that movie was terrible. I never saw it. So Star Wars, for the premium plan, we have 
ray. And again, there, that actually kind of focused that time. So that's cool. And then all of the Star Wars pins have had the little logo down at the bottom. Bo the bottom. The bottom. I was reading Alexander saying buffering, buffering, buffering. You better get some better internet. That's not my problem. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, the last one. So here's kind of a rundown of the May box. It's not the camera really. It's the all the stuff in the background I have going on. Um, this isn't the camera I used to record my videos. Um, because I can't connect that to my computer to do streams. So, so that's what you get for me. And again, you can subscribe if you've not subscribed yet and tried Zanini Box. You can use the code MYSTERYPOP at checkout to get 10% off your first month. So then we have the collection, which I've already featured a couple of these. Um, but I'll go over the ones that I've gotten before, and then I'll show you the rest of them. I think the first one I got was this one. <laughs> Chinese Dr. Brown. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, they have the dog collection, uh, which is an e-box and... Cocktito, it looks like, and I, these are available on the website for purchase. So we have our German Shepherd, which it's not going to focus. How close can I get? There we go. Maybe that's it. I just wasn't getting close enough. German Shepherd. Hello, Alexandra. How many times do I have to say hello to you? <clears throat> and I heard from a couple people they really like these dog pins. Uh, we have a, a Labrador Retriever, which kind of looks green, kind of a greenish yellow. I don't know. I don't think that was intentional, but yeah, this is just not wanting to. There. Kind of. It's too much activity going on behind me with the pops. And then here's the rest of the collection. No cat pins yet, uh, mainstream. Maybe another time, but right now it's dogs, different breeds of dogs. Uh, well, Tony likes the dogs, that's what it is. This one's cool, and I think this is the one that B. Cobb said Jen was going to call dibs on <laughs> for obvious reasons because they have, I think they have, I think it's a, he's a husky, right? Focus. Ugh, it's frustrating. <laughs> there we go. Siberian husky. There it is, the dibs. I see what you mean now, Peacob. Okay. We'll put that in the Peacob pile. Uh, what's next? We have kind of a wide variety here. Yes, he's a husky. Yeah, cat pins. I know there's cat lovers out there. I don't know if... Uh, Pedro's watching tonight. Um, there you go. People want the cat pins. Maybe that's in the works. Here's our next one. It's a Maltese. Kind of, yeah, it's mostly focused. There you go. A few more. <clears throat> oh, these things. Yeah, the Maltese was kind of a, and here's another kind of cute one. It's a pug. 
come on. It's almost going to focus there. <laughs> oh, let's uh, try the purple background again. <laughs> there. Kind of see that, how that's got the texture to it. Pug. <laughs> so I take it you don't like pugs. Cob. <laughs> well, a lot of people out there do. Uh, so we have one more. Anyone want to guess what it is? Anyone? Did anyone see in another video what it is? Yes, the pug was the dog in minimal black. Any guesses before I show? <laughs> nope. All right. The back got a little damaged on this one. It's not a chicken. It's a it's a dog. It's a type of dog, Alexandra. Uh, no cocker spaniel, no chihuahua. It's a pit bull. He looks kind of angry. And he looks kind of blurry because <laughs> this camera won't focus. There we go. Pitbull. So yeah, that's these are all available. I don't know if they're all available on the website now. I know some of these were. Um, let me just check their store real quick. Yeah, it looks like all of these are available to order right now on the Zanini Box website. And they're only $4.99 a piece. They're not $7.99 a piece like the um, the uh, th others, the themed pins, like the movies, TV, video game pins. Um, hey, Shaggy Tadpole Couple. Welcome. Is that... Are you kicking a dog mainstream? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Dave, actually, I this is um, because these dog pins shipped in previous Zanini boxes. I have gotten an extra one now of the German Shepherd and the lab. So I've already got I've already got the lab set aside for you. So I'm ordering mine on MPT live stream. I'd like one husky pin, please. Uh Sold. You got the last one. Or Jen got the last one. <laughs> yeah, so because he was sending everything at once to show me, um, I got a couple of duplicates because he had already sent the dog pins in previous boxes for his for his YouTube people. So yeah, those are kind of cool. I like this style and those pins. Um, I don't know if they're going to continue with more dogs. I think it was only six. I know there's plenty of other breeds of dogs out there. Yeah, he he does want the husky one. Yeah, he told me that Jen stole the baby Yoda pin that they currently have on Zanini box and also a Ninja Turtle pin that I sent you several months ago. So uh, you need to hide these things better from your wife. <laughs> uh, there's no... Is there a Dave pin? Dave, are you going to make some enamel pins of your clown face? Because I would... I would subscribe to the box that offers that, or you can just send me one. No, I figured you didn't have pins. All right, so the other part of this, oh, sorry, this is itchy, um, will be the trading cards. And there's going to be nine different cards a month. Hey, Pedro, welcome. If you have any questions, there's there's Pedro, there's Mr. Zanini himself. Uh, so say hi in the chat. Oh, these are cool. I am just opening uh, the cards, Pedro. I like how these are these are shipped, and they're shipped in like a card sleeve. So I don't know if that's what they're called. I'm not much of a card collector, but. Um, so I'm going to actually pull these out one at a time so you kind of get the idea. And I'll start in the upper corner. 
and hopefully these will focus a little better because they're bigger. But the first card that we have is um, the Amazing Spider-Man. There, yeah, that's better. So these are about like the size of a regular trading card, and they've got rounded corners. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back, we've got name Amazing Spider-Man 1, publisher Marvel Comics, March 10th, 1983. And then there's a space. If you happen to meet anyone that is uh, has worked on Spider-Man, maybe you're going to meet someone in the Spider-Man movies, anyone, anyone you choose to, you can get their autograph in that space. And then there's a QR code right there. And you can scan it, and it will take you to... Uh, website with more information relating to whoever is on the front of these cards. Um, and these are nice quality thick cards. Um, pretty thick. Much thicker than a standard card. Uh, like a standard trading card. So that's our first one. <laughs> Yo, Jay said cool and not dope. It's dope. And this next one may look familiar. We have got Superman Action Comics number one. You've all seen this the iconic comic book cover. Uh, and then the information on the back. And some information on when it was published. <laughs> there it is, Yoji. No. And then the QR code here. So you can scan that. I'm actually going to try this QR code out um, and just see where it takes me. Okay. All right. So the Superman one took me to Amazon or I could buy the digital version of the comic book. Very cool. Why don't we go back and see where Spider-Man takes me? I like this idea, Pedro. It's very cool. And these are nice cards. So Spider-Man, we get a little loading page for Zanini, and it's another digital, it's a Kindle version of that Spider-Man. So very cool. Okay, and then our next one, and th there's a wide variety of uh, cards in here. All the QR codes will take you for the product related on Amazon website. Okay, very cool. Because uh, I knew you said it would take somewhere, but I don't rem I don't know that I heard it. If it was a a Amazon, I wasn't sure. So here's our next one. It's Wolverine. There you go, mainstream. I didn't see your... Uh, <laughs> I didn't see your comment. Yes, it, it takes you to the dark web where someone named Craig gives away video game systems that don't exist. Uh, yet. So there's Wolverine. Yes, I was waiting for that, B-Cob. So this is actually, it looks like this was published this year. Wolverine number one, Marvel Comics, published February 19th. Very cool. Yeah, very funny pop couple. <laughs> because I think you're going to want dibs on a few of these. Spectre Commander, hello. First of all, I didn't see you in there. These cards are... $5.99 for all nine that I'm about to show you. $5.99 per month. So you get uh, you get nine of these really kind of ni nice, thick, high-quality cards for six bucks a month. Here's another one for Avengers Endgame. Kind of going in and out of focus there. And then this probably will take you to Amazon where you can probably buy the digital version of the movie. So it's cool. It's got like the uh, clapboard there on the back. <laughs> I 
Everyone's just calling dibs. Well, why don't you uh, go to ZaniniBox.com on Friday and subscribe and use my code to get 10% off. How many empty spaces have the Avenger Guard? Just the one. There's only the one. So you might want to buy multiple subscriptions because <laughs> there's a lot of people in these movies. <clears throat> That needs a bigger space. Well, you know, I'm sure Pedro appreciates the, the uh, feedback. So if there, if you have any comments or feedback for him, he's watching right now. So direct it to the man himself. Here's another uh, B Cobb Dibs card. And that's got the uh, Oscar in the corner because course won the oscar joaquin phoenix won the oscar and then here's all the information on the back and i have to confess i've not seen this movie yet so i know <laughs> i understand if you want to unsubscribe right now so what's next here So, Pedro, do you ship internationally? I didn't really look too closely on the website. Um, I'm on there now. There is an international plan. I do remember the international plan. Um, I'm assuming that that would include all oh, the Oscar series. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, there is there is an international plan. I've, I've commented on that on every video that I've made, actually, now that I say that out loud. Um, but it's shipped every other month. So I assume this would be, this would also be shipped every other month. All right. So next we have a television program. Some of you may have heard of Game of Thrones. Come on, focus. There we go. Ugh, it's making me seasick. Okay, good, Mama J. I'm not the only one that hasn't seen it. Um, so this gives a little breakdown of Game of Thrones, and then there's an autograph space QR code on the back. I like the uh, the theme, the, like the television dial and the speaker. Yep, okay. So there you go, Tony. They can deliver anywhere. So deliver to Spain. Never heard of it. Yeah. Okay. So I am not familiar with this. It looks like it's a video game from Activision that came out last year. Um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm not, that's not one I've heard of. Very cool. Never got into that show. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you did there. Uh, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice from Activision, March 22nd, 2019. It was the Gamer of the Year T TGA Award 2019, available on Xbox, Windows, and PS4. So <laughs> it's an awesome game. Oh, yeah, Game of the Year last year. I, I am a gamer. I mean, I've talked about gaming, but there's just certain games that... I mean, right now I'm playing Animal Crossing. That's not really <laughs> in the same genre as this. But I do I do try to play a wide variety. I just I don't get into the sports games. Yeah, TGA The Game Awards. Um, another video game one here. Um, this one I played on the original PlayStation back in the day. Come on. Kind of wants to focus. There we go. And I like how you have the uh, the corresponding, like the joystick down there in the corner to show what card, what series this belongs to. Yes, Animal Crossing is dope. Uh, so Resident Evil 2. This is the remastered version uh, because it says the release date was January 25th of last year. Yes, but it's kind of a, it is a scary game, Tony. I don't I don't really like to play the scary ones. There we go. 
kind of. All right. There's, and then we have one more. And these all came folded in that envelope in one of these um, card card sleeves. I don't know what these have a name other than card sleeve. David Soften, can you correct me if I'm wrong? The, okay, so Pedro says the back of the game card have all the platforms the game is working. So every platform that the game is on. Very cool. Yeah, I noticed that on the uh, on these two for Resident Evil and Sekiro, they both showed they were on PlayStation, Xbox, and Win and um, Windows. So very cool. Very informative. A lot of information on these cards. Our last one is a nine pocket page. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Breaking Bad, and that says. If this would focus. It says season one. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I need a better camera for live streams. <laughs> uh, so this is another television one. And then here's all the details on the back. So if you ever meet any of your actors from Breaking Bad at a convention, you can have them sign this card and then scan the QR code. So, uh, yeah, so th these are really cool, uh, Pedro. I wasn't sure what to expect, but they're, I, I like their super, very hardy card stock. They're not like a typical trading card. Um, yes. <laughs> Alexandra, you be nice. <laughs> Go to bed. Nine places to put pocket pops. I suppose pocket pops would fit in there, Zach. <clears throat> so that's the new um, that's the new card. The cards that are going to be available on Zanini Box every month. Uh, so five ninety nine. We'll get you all of those. Um, let me just check something here. I'm still waiting. I the um, janky blind box I was planning on unboxing has not been delivered yet. So I thought I maybe heard something come to the front door. So I may go check before I get off of here. Um, if they're not here, I'll do it. I'll do them in another, another night if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, but yeah, these are cool cards. Yeah, you're you're welcome. I'm glad you were able to stop by and and say hi. So, um, does, does anyone have any questions about Zanini Box? Because now is your chance. He's here. Uh, you can ask him questions. Um, oh, here's one. If we order cards, do they ship? Okay, and I did mean to mention that there is a plan. I'll answer that. Um, <laughs> there is a plan coming, and I I this was in the letter. I read when I started going over this uh, before I even did the pins, but they're going to have the pr uh, plan called Premium Ultimate, where it's all the products that they have, um, all five pins that you get with the metal locking back and the cards um, for $19.99 a month. <laughs> run, run to the door, go now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, to answer your question, there is going to be a plan. I it's not on the website until Friday. The cards aren't available for subscription yet until this coming Friday the 1st. So, yeah. So he said, I'll create the plan called Ultimate with cards and pins. So if you like both the cards and the pins, you want to get all the pins and then all these different cards every month, it's $19.99 a month. And for your first month, if you want to use the code Mystery Pop, that will get you 10% off your first month. In case I haven't said that enough. Um, that's all I had. For, oh, no, I have one more thing to open. Um, but I'm going to wait and see if anyone else has questions for Pedro. There's no pizza guy coming to the door. <laughs> I, I haven't had pizza in a while. So did anyone else have questions for Pedro while he's here hanging out? On Zanini box, on the pins, on the cards, on anything? <laughs> what's the what's the is this me am I money bags 
Right. Well, I don't I don't know if Pedro can stick around or wants to. <laughs> but if anyone has any questions, he's he's here currently. So um this one, oh <laughs> yeah, this is a this is kind of a point of contention with Dave is why isn't Zanini box in a box? Why isn't it called the Zanini envelope? <laughs> Dave always brings this up with me when I talk to him about Zanini box. Cool. So Pedro's going to stay. Uh, you may not have to stay for much longer if I haven't gotten a delivery. So <laughs> I just have one more thing to open, kind of just a pickup that I got that showed up today. Can you make a pin from Curtis? For, um, I don't know that there'd be much demand. There's probably a bit of a cost involved with coming up with these pins. Licensing would be cheap. <laughs> I wouldn't charge anything uh, if you want to make a pin for my channel, but I don't expect that to happen. And yes, Dave, you are, but we keep you around. So um, maybe he'll ship to you in a box. Maybe he'll have a plan where it actually comes in a box, but you have to pay more to get it in a in a box that says Zanini on, on the box. So you literally will have a Zanini box and you can't complain about it anymore. <laughs> Or send it to me, and I'll just I'll do that and send it to Dave. B Cobb loves you, Dave. Here we go. Here's an answer, Dave. When I created the Zanini box, I was planning to send in the box, but also I want to send with the best price. So I figured the bag would be the best price. And yeah, that makes total sense. It's cheaper to send um, a bag than a box. Because I have sent my share of both in bags are cheaper all right speaking of boxes ugh, i have one from target i'll just show you real quick what i got I'll try not to cut into my leg as i do this so yeah thanks pedro uh, those are really cool i'm curious to see what other ones you're going to have coming Will you have any um, will you have any recurring themes like you have with Star Wars or with the uh, like Justice League or DC with the pins? I think Curtis has the idea have it sent to him. He will box it up and write Zanini on the side and maybe draw you. Yeah, I'll do that if it saves Pedro uh, getting. Uh, <laughs> Getting asked that question. Ugh. Spoilers, B-Cob. Spoilers. So yeah, you can probably tell what this is. Um, mine was wrapped in this bubble wrap. Um, I I know I said I'm not a Star Wars collector, but I don't know if you can see behind me. I've got a I've got the uh, Jawa and the Boba Fett. I like the uh, the Futura pops, and I think just Boba Fett in general is a cool character. So I got the big Boba Fett, the big 10 inch. And it's cool. It's got the battle damage. And I like the fact that it's a bobblehead. I know Dave, you said previously you didn't like that it's a, a bobblehead, but I think this is my first 10 inch bobblehead. Larry, you're right on time, as per usual. I'm almost done. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the details are good. And it's got this plastic um, covering the window, which is different. And I remember you showing that off, because when you opened yours. Oh, I'll... I'll take this out of box. I want to see this kind of up close. I know most of you probably have this or have seen it, but yeah, Dave hates bobbleheads. Hashtag Larry was trying to win me that thing. He's trying to win you something. pretty cool yeah the detail on this is great <laughs> I 
Larry's here. Put everything back in the envelopes in the boxes and start over. Yeah, this is pretty cool. But I, I like how it's weathered looking with the damage. I am running out of room, though, for anything. I don't even think it'll <laughs> sit up there without falling off. I don't trust that to stay up there. So um, that's all I had. I just had a quick thing to open there. I am <laughs> shake it. Shake it. Shake the bobblehead or me shake it. <laughs> there we go. Dave, this is for you. Uh, are we still making that's what she said jokes, really? Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go uh, check and just make sure that UPS didn't deliver the box. So hang out for a bit. Someone's asking me to shake my head. Uh, and I will be back momentarily. Sorry, no box. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to the bathroom. I was checking to see if UPS had delivered my uh, another part of this video. I was gonna or this live I was gonna do tonight was to unbox a blind box of the Janky Series Two from Super Plastic. But I know UPS has been swamped recently uh, because of people like me ordering toys and having them delivered to their houses. So um, it's just after nine here, and they haven't shown up yet. So um they still could show up tonight but i'm not expecting it to probably it might come to uh either late tonight or maybe even tomorrow so <laughs> see and justin <clears throat> who works for ups is still working so he's still out delivering stuff so i mean we can try to kill a little time In the hopes that it's going to show up, but it's midnight on the East Coast. Um, I don't expect you guys to hang out, but we can talk about some stuff if you want, just in case. Um, otherwise, I will probably just do the unboxing another time on another live stream. Yeah, just everyone is so busy with UPS and FedEx. <laughs> Justin, I expect you to hand deliver my package to me in my neighborhood. I don't think I'm on your route, though. Let's talk about candy corn. All right. Let's talk about candy corn. What do you want to talk about? How awesome it is? <laughs> you could, Dave, you could have ended the sentence after the word people, and it would have just, it would have been also sufficient. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to Dave. Dave, how much stuff have you sold this week? And then we'll get back to the great candy corn debate. Candy corn is gross. That it's awful. Tony's never had candy corn. So we, you know, where's my candy corn pin? It is in my closet in a container with other pins. I know exactly where it is. I can go get it. I'll show it off. It's right here. I just saw it. Here it is. So, Lisa from Pop Couple, who is in the chat, asking me to show this. 
um, sent me this tiny ghost candy corn pin, which is awesome. And I thank her again for doing that because I love candy corn. And it's not that I, I mean, I like candy corn. I don't hate candy corn. It's very polarizing like peeps. People either love peeps or they hate peeps. I saw someone had sent, a friend of mine sent me a picture that they have peeps breakfast cereal. Has anyone seen that? It's just weird. It's a weird concept because it's marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows in it. So... <laughs> Uh, who's pop couple we know who they are what else do I have in here while we're killing time oh I ordered one of these pins from Mon have you guys gone to Mon I did a video on Mon a few several months ago with a little monster um, I ordered one of the sloth Mon and I think I may have shown this off in a video there's an enamel pin. And I think Mon actually has this um, figure up for sale on their website still. Um, but I got number, oh God, there it is, number seven out of 100. So these are limited edition. Did I get the ice cream mon. Oh, I saw that. Um, no, I did not. I didn't even. I didn't get the sloth monster, the mon figure either. Um, at the time, I wasn't really trying to spend extra money, and I think they're still available. So I may go check that out. But um, yeah, I've got, I've got the blue one and one of the green ones. I think it was one of the founders edition ones. Oh, and Tony bought one. Yeah, and he he ordered one from Spain in Spain. So, where did we land on candy corn? <laughs> I can't believe people are still watching this. There's still 20 people showing. <laughs> so, I mean, I could try to kill some time, like I said. I don't think UPS is going to be here anytime soon, though. Um, I'll try to stick it out until half past the hour, and if the box hasn't shown up by then, I'll I'll probably call it. Dave, what are you what What are you talking about? No, no talk like that. <laughs> <clears throat> it's so dry here. We hit a hundred degrees today. So that was fun. You can track the driver on the app. Teach me. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. Oh, on the UPS app. Okay, so that means I have to go download an app. Isn't this fun? You get to watch me download stuff on my phone. Yes, Tony, I do have the Hikari Buzz Lightyear uh, that you sent me. And it's up... It's up on the shelf. You like 98 degrees? The boy band 98 degrees? All right, come on, App Store. We're going to see if I can see where my package is and if this is going to be worth it hanging out or if I can send you on your way. All right. It's scary when a customer goes, I've been watching you all day. I, You know, I've seen that on, on Amazon where it's like, your driver is two stops away. And it's like, I don't know if I want to be traced or tracked that, you know, closely. Yes. Okay. So country, territory, United States, English. I agree. Show me the cookies. Track my existence. I think I have a UPS ID. Want to know when? Yes, I do want to know when. Now it's making me sign up. Um, 
This is fascinating. Let me see if I can. Log in here. No, I don't want to take your survey. <clears throat> Pop in and I know where you are and where you have been. Your mistress tracks you all the time. Great. Let's see if this is my login. By the time I get this punched in, he'll probably pull up outside. Okay, so I have to put in my address. So that did work. Uh, where do I live? Isn't this fun watching me play on my phone? I accept. Loading. Yes, sign me in. Hmm. All it says is in transit, so I don't know where the actual tracking, because now it's saying Today, no delivery scheduled. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ernesto. Sorry, I know, pop couple. You'll come on to entertain the mess. Dave, you said you were watching from bed. Yeah, the last activity on this was 9.03 this morning. Destination scan. I don't see any other more specific details than that. So is there... Oh, you've been watching me play on my phone all day? I know, it's awesome. I'm going to play Angry Birds. Um, Yeah, so I'm not seeing it's not showing me where the driver is just that it says rescheduled delivery by the end of the day today so i'm not buying that um yeah driver probably ran out of time because he usually comes later in the day so it'll probably be here tomorrow um which is sad because i had something else in there that may be of interest to you guys but you'll find out more about that pretty soon um do, do a Candy Crush level you want to sit here? Or are you just watching me play a Candy Crush level? I'm not even showing you the screen. Yeah, because it's, what, 20 after 9? I don't think they're going to show up. I mean, I have had some pretty late deliveries, like after 9.30 from UPS. But I think this late in the day, I got to trust uh, what Justin says and just that the driver ran out of time. Welcome, Josh. I'm just wrapping things up. I didn't get my... Uh, my uh, my janky my janky blind box. So I'm gonna have that another time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call that. Um, I've already been going for over an hour, and that's before I even did the pin or uh, the the blind box. So, um, does anybody have anything they want to talk about or ask me before I go? <clears throat> I liked your song, Pop Couple, especially how you tried to, to have to cram Mystery Pop Theater into the lyrics of, of uh, the Shout song. I think the next one you should do should be the other song. You know what makes me wanna shout, and then say the name of the channel after that. Mystery Pop Theater, shout, and then the other channels. I'm not going to name any other channels. <laughs> Uh, James wants to know what's the average flight speed of a swallow. Well, that depends on if it's African or European. <laughs> I don't, what is, I need some context. <laughs> I 
Are those bone daddy wacky wobbler? Oops, that's the wrong one. I don't know what if God was one of us. Uh, the Those up there are wacky wobblers. And there's one that's a glow in the dark. And then I have a Christmas one, which if you see behind Cranky here, I have a red and green one. It's a holiday one. So, <laughs> his response was, "Yes, I love Monty Python, and I love Monty Python and the Holy Grail." Could just say Craig. I'm not going to sing anymore. You're lucky you got that much out of me. Okay, so Justin is saying that UPS can work until 1030. They, I don't know that they've ever come this late. Yeah, I, uh, I've got quite a few of the Wacky Wobblers now. I actually got all three of those in a bundle on Mercari from the same seller uh, for a pretty decent price. But the glow on the, uh, the glow in the dark one is pretty good. Oh, yes. Thanks, Larry. Um, if you guys see on the end of the shelf there, I have, I can almost touch it there. That guy, the bloody assassin monkey that came from Mr. Hashtag Larry. Uh, who I will shout out in a little promotion. Not as cool as Pop Couple shout promotion, but Larry's doing a live stream this Friday. Um, I believe at 6.30 Eastern, so that would be 3.30 Pacific. I'm going to try to join because it's all my fault that he's doing videos, but I this is a blackout week at work, meaning I can't take any time off because we're incredibly busy right now for certain SEC filings, but... Um, I'm, I might try to join for a few minutes from my phone if it's quiet. So uh, be sure if you haven't subscribed to hashtag Larry, you do that because he's going to do a live stream. Is it you and who else is going to be on your live stream, Larry? Yes, that's a good question. And will your internet be working? <laughs> Every time I've tried to be in a live stream with you, you've not been able to join, it seems. Um Corey, and that's, yeah, completely Corey. All right. Ugh. And I am planning, I will say, some of uh, some of you I've talked to about this, I am planning my uh, 1,000 subscribers giveaway. Uh, details to come soon. So I, I have something in the works with some other channels, and that's... That's in the works. That's all I'll say. But you should see some information on that pretty soon, probably next week. So if you're not subscribed to me yet, you would definitely want to be subscribed because I'm giving away something pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Well, there's probably a reason that Corey hates you, Alexander. What did you do? <laughs> uh, yes, Larry. Or Larry. Yes, Dave. I know you're subbed. It's not P because that was, I think, pretty disgusting. Here, we'll watch me play on my phone some more in the event that UPS decides to show up. <laughs> I got to scroll through all the Animal Crossing talk with my friend that sent me this. Uh, he texts me every day to ask me my, my uh, turnip prices. But I'm not seeing it. There it is. Peeps with chick and bunny breakfast cereal. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> yes, there it is. Ugh. Marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows. So we've got it's like they look like Fruit Loops, the cereal itself, like the different multicolored rings. And then the, the marshmallows are peep shaped. So there's the, 
the, the original peeps and the bunnies. It's a bowl of diabetes for breakfast. Um, I don't know if he took this, but that's that's gross. And it's made by Kellogg's. Ugh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just nasty. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call. I think I've kept everyone long enough that's been willing to stay. Um, I'm sorry it's, it was out of my out of my hands that I didn't get that delivery today. I was hoping it would uh, have shown up. So it'll probably be here tomorrow. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think if anyone else has live streams scheduled. There's so many channels that do live streams every day now. So if I'm missing anyone obvious, I apologize. But um, if they show up at a decent time tomorrow, I might hop back on here to do part two of this um, unboxing. And you can see what I got. So I got the um, janky janky uh, series two blind boxes that are normally what are they twenty two dollars a box um it was half price so if you bought a if you bought a uh, a case of the of the blind boxes of 24 you got it for half off um so that was a good that was a good deal yes you want your money back only half the content that you came for um, I'll mail you mail you your check for zero dollars and nothing cents here tomorrow. Or do you take PayPal? Oh yeah, I know you take PayPal. I've sent you PayPal before. <laughs> so no, I don't blame Justin. All I don't blame any of the UPS drivers. You know, um, they're they're doing their best. They're out there every day. So much respect to them for that. Um, Alexander's doing a live stream. Is she? I don't. I don't buy that at all. <laughs> I want to be invited if she does. I want to be on it with her. <clears throat> all right. So, I mean, I could play on my phone a little bit more if you want to just watch me. You know, do I have any other pins in here? No, I got this one. Um, Plants versus zombies. Two, which is the 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 iPhone or the app version for the phone, which got really bloated with in-app purchases, and I stopped playing it. But I, I collect the plants and zombies stuff. So, what else do I got in here? Oh, here's my other sloth, or not sloth, my mon pin. This one came with the original. Um, with I think this came with the green one. I think I bought it. But I like these. I'm liking these enamel pins more and more, more and more. I blame uh, Pedro Zanini 100%. So, all right, I'm gonna call it a night. <clears throat> I'm starting to not be able to talk without having to take a drink of water every 30 seconds. It's just so dry here. So, um. I'll schedule another one for tomorrow at some point, probably close to the same time. Um, and if I don't have my boxes by the time it starts, I'll just cancel it. I'll just pop in and say, sorry, but hopefully they will be able to come through tomorrow. So um, thank you everyone who's still here. I still 18 people watching, which kind of blows my mind, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, I don't think Pedro is still watching, but um, I appreciate Pedro stopping by. Um, and yeah, if you want your want some good quality pins, oh, I've got so many pins now. I've got all these dog pins that came. Don't let us down again. Not my fault there, Pop Couple. Um, these cards, we got the collect cards uh, from Zinni Box now. Very cool. So check that out. And then if you want to get in on the uh, pins for May, you have till the end of the day tomorrow. <laughs> I just got this in the mail today, so this was all the time I had to do to do this. So that's the May selection. Um, good deal. Mystery Pop at checkout at 10% off. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Um, oh, is that a truck I hear out front?